I'm finally back to playing some Affinity, and I think I've lost some of my pizzazz. This game goes pretty well, but overall, I've had to stumble a little bit in order to succeed. In this game specifically, you're going to see me use one of the better cards in the deck and really highlight its power. And it comes from an understanding of how the Popper metagame has always been and why this card's been a staple for years in Affinity. Firstly, we look at the metagame itself. There are a lot of small creatures. I think you know where I'm going with this. There's a lot of X ones. Heck, even X twos are just as powerful. I mean, looking at the top decks themselves, uh, out of Ponza, we have Arbor Elf. Out of the white decks, or just Cogate in general, we have Sacred Cat. And then finally, out of the blue decks, uh, whether that be Is It or Mono Blue, we have cards like Fairy Miscreant that are drawing cards, all X ones. And when you have a field full of X ones, although Fairy Miscreant might be a little different in this case, just because of the flying claws, I think board wipes them themselves are really important to highlight specifically with affinity quark clan shaman is absolutely insane and now of course i want to highlight the fact that the last card i mentioned was flying i understand but regardless it gets the point across board wipes are important dealing one damage to everything is so important and quark clan shaman really shines in today's matchup enjoy on the play and the hand isn't the worst thing in the world if i can find a black source famous last words be able to get somewhere but i mean being able to cast metallic rebuke soon along with the galvanic blast probably is good we're going to turn to wellspring a lot of opportunities to really start popping off so i think i kind of have to keep this this league's been rough i'll tell you what my my return quote unquote to affinity is a is a rough one looks like my opponent mulliganed that's fine they're going to start things off with a seven in that case Swamp. Creature dies. Okay, well, we'll probably create a treasure token. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, great furnace. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna play a second blue. Yep. Draw my card. Thought cast is pretty good. I'm gonna be able to cast that next, so I can play great furnace. Play Thought Cast, still hold up Metallic Rebuke, or just like do other things. This is Sacrificed. Okay. All right. So they're going to be doing Sacrifice Shenanigans. Okay. So let's just do this. Can't go close. Uh, so this is the same thing. I can play this and still, yeah, and I can still Metallic Rebuke. I develop my board just a little bit here. They're they're doing stuff, so I'm gonna take three damage here. But Reckoner's Bargain should be fine. This doesn't seem like the type of deck that'll just burn me really quickly. Like it'll make like really explosive plays whenever a player sacrifices a creature. Okay, that's fine. So I just have to stop their sacrifice outlets. Really, that's that's all this is. Um, I'm going to prevent myself from taking... No, I'm not. I'm not. I lied to myself. Yeah, I just need to stop the sacrifice outlets. It's really all this is. Ooh. I think I have to counter that, though. Yeah, I think, I think this is one of the things that I counter. Pay the one. Yeah, I think I have to counter the village rights. Like, sure, they're gonna like do things like create a treasure token, like do all that. That's fine, but can't let them just draw cards off of all that. See what we can make work here. Let's see what we can or can't make work here. My turn. Yeah, these metallic rebukes that I'm drawing are not helpful. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this up. Okay, so I'm gonna play one chromatic star. Um, I'm gonna hold up double rebuke or one rebuke plus one galvanic. 
and then just start like doing things. That's the plan. So they really have to, this is when you sacrifice a creature, when you sacrifice another permanent, that's, and so that's like the treasure token. Yeah, we'll just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill this in response before they can do anything, right? And then I'm gonna metallic rebuke the dispute. Yeah, let's do all that. So that way they don't get anything. I think stuff like this early is gonna be really important. That's how we're gonna stop them. Sure. Don't get any of your triggers, you use up your mana. I'm at 14. If I can draw land, that would be great. I can untap land, then I can then I can cast Kanku and then make my uh silver bluff bridge a so bus a silver bluff bridge a creature the problem is i'm playing up against black minus one minus one effects minus two minus two whatever these type of effects um are there they will get around the indestructible okay i will play it okay i mean worst case scenario here what i can do is I can cast my third metallic rebuke. I've done a pretty good job of slowing them the heck down. There is that. Um, no, we can't. I don't think I can allow that. Yeah, I don't think I can allow that. Just can't let the sack outlets like live. All right, um, we gotta create black first. Hold on. Create black. <laughs> Sacrifice the Icar Wellspring. I think I just have to keep controlling their board. Like I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna kill this. Before the carrying feeder comes down and is able to get stronger. I'm, I'm gonna just kill that. I think this is genuinely how I have to play it. Vault, Frogmite. Um, there's the untapped source that I was looking for. I can Kanku here. I can Deadly Dispute another day, it's fine. Put on the Silver Bluff Bridge combat and just attack there you go now i'm doing damage yeah so after combat i think hmm okay i i mean i i all right i'm not gonna pretend like i don't have anything i mean next turn i can draw like four fresh cards like i'm gonna draw something on my turn and then i'm going to yeah i'm gonna draw something on my turn and then deadly dispute's gonna draw me three cards when i sack the chromatic star um okay like, i want you to sack things that's fine okay sacrifice a creature draw two cards all right yeah corrupted conviction yeah it's just like it's a giant sack deck and, and i think that's fine because like if if that's how they're going to use their resources then i'm going to be able to just like kill all their stuff that's that's the whole plan all right you played a you got a land Take it until oh yeah all right yeah that's that's the way to deal with that um regardless ooh, gurmag angler is a hot draw um i'm gonna i'm gonna hopefully draw a hopefully gonna draw a black source here then on my turn, um, let's see, I think, yeah, I think all I can do, no, I mean, I can do a couple things here. Um, firstly, let's go to combat, because not much I'm doing beyond that. Let's go to combat. 
I don't think they'll trade. I don't think they'll trade with my Mortician Beetle. No blocks, perfect. And then on my turn, yeah, on my turn, I play the Wellspring first, right? Yeah, play the Wellspring first. See what I can draw. Blood Fountain isn't half bad. Um, not much to return though. So I'm gonna Gurmag Angler. Play some stuff here. Doesn't really matter. And then just go black with the, the treasure tokens. And we have a relatively big board. We are doing a lot of things. Okay, perfect. And they just give it to me. Yeah, because you know what? They're, they can't beat Angler. That's perfect. Now, okay. Against this deck? I don't know. I think Kark Clan Shaman is the only thing. I'm just realizing there's no KCS in the main board here. Seems like I'm just really like I'm just like taking what people are playing in terms of like the latest builds of affinity and this just seems like a bad idea not to play KCS in the main seems like a really really bad time anyway I'm gonna play these Kenku artificer seems eh. there could be some level of graveyard recursion but I'm not sure but I think KCS is the only thing I can really bring in Kenku artificer seems weird because it's like I can usually put the counters on my indestructible lands, but if they're just going to have, yeah, if they're just going to have answers to that, then there's no point. I think we just play the board wipe. Like they have relatively weak stuff. I can hopefully, you know, have KCS available to do things in response to their sack triggers and all that stuff. Um, this isn't. When I say this isn't half bad, like the fact that that's a swamp, an artifact is a problem. Mm, yeah, it doesn't really matter how I do this. Like these frog mites aren't like I'm not really countering things until turn three, which might be a little too late. We'll see. They kept a seven. I'm at 19. Yep, they're going to draw a bunch of cards, create a treasure. It's pretty good. They'll probably draw a land here. Let's see. It's good vibes for them. Honest, mm, honestly, though, if I find an untapped artifact land here, I was just going to say. I think, actually, the best thing for me... I mean, it's the same thing, actually. This just gets out more artifacts now, which is better. Like next turn, I can go, I can go swamp, play Icar Wellspring, Frog My Frog Might, hold up Metallic Rebuke. Yeah, regardless, I'm not countering things until like later. Taxian, Gixian, not Gitaxian, Gixian. Yeah, right. Two one. Okay, I'm wondering if I just like commit to this now, actually. Hmm, wondering if I just play KCS and wipe that now, like, or I wait. I think maybe I wait. I can just Metallic Rebuke what they play next and I just develop my... Mm, but then if I play KCS later, then I lose my Frog Mites. That's the big thing. I lose my Frog Mites. And what I can do is I can Icar Wellspring, I can play the KCS, I can play a Frog Mite, and then in response to me playing that Frog Mite, I can sack these two things. That way that one Frog Mite resolves, but then I don't interact with what they play next. I mean, I could do it that way. I think I, I think I have to. I think I have to keep their board clear before it gets like too out of hand. So I think I play the Wellspring here, right? Right, and then I play KCS. And then I hold full control. I play the Frogmite. And then in response to that, sacrifice a Chromatic Star. And then in response to that, sacrifice an Icar Wellspring. 
and then let that whole chain resolve. Yep. Uh, you know what? There was a better way to do this. Uh, was there? No, I had to like do it in response. Yeah, no, no, there wasn't a better way to do this. Okay, so that's going to resolve. I have three artifacts, which isn't ideal. I wish, I wish this was... I wish this was another artifact. Oh, well. Okay. I mean, next turn. We did some things here. And then it's not like we used our one KCS as like a one-time option here. We actually managed to... I mean, it's in our graveyard. Hopefully they don't have too much graveyard interaction that they can draw into because a blood fountain just brings that back. It's not actually the end of the world here. All right, Gixian. Yep. Guys. Okay. All right. Um. Fair enough. There you go. There's the fourth one. Play that. Play this star right and then we can just start doing things really you can just start doing things right now metallic rebuke is available metallic rebuke is available Ooh. There. Um. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Deadly dispute. Blue thing. And then use this. All right. Counter that. And then before this does too much, just kill it. There you go. So they're not drawing any cards. They get a top squirrel which is perfect. Um, I'm gonna play an angler here, which seems like the absolute bee's knees. Now I need to pay three mana. Locks me out of that, but at least I still have gal blast ups. So I'm gonna go to combat, go to attacks. They're at 16. I think stopping these creatures early is like so key here against this little like little sack deck. Stopping this stuff early is is super key. Manifest the top card of your library. Okay. I'm gonna block fodder. Okay, that's fine. I've been stuffing things. They're creating blockers. It's fine with me. Uh let's just go to combat. I mean if they kill one of my frog mites, so be it. It's not a problem to me. Like, at least their stuff, like, just dies. Okay. All right. Manifest the top card. We're going to play the Dross Forge Bridge. Flare Husk, yo, this is a class, like I have not seen this card in, wow, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> yo, Flare Husk is a throwback, I will tell you that. Um, Mortician Beetle, they are going wide, I'll tell you that. They are, ooh, they are going wide. They are going wide. Okay, so they can't manifest this up. Can I actually kill this thing? Actually, let's see. Actually, let's just let's just reckoner's bargain and see what I get. Just reckoner bargain the chromatic star. Let's see what I get. Thought cast is pretty nice. More enforcer. Yeah, it's actually wow. That's actually not bad. Let's draw 
Uh, or I can go... Hmm. How do I want to do this? I think... Okay, let's go to combat first. Before I do absolutely anything, let's go to combat. Let's attack. They're going to start killing things. They can start killing things. That's fine. Just more things to get back with my blood fountain. Yeah, that's fine. They'll take two. I'll play podcast. I'm going to play blood fountain. I won't play the Murren forces just yet. Yep. I think what I want to do is I just want to use all my mana here to get back my two creatures, play them next turn, wipe the board. That's fine. Yeah, wipe the board. That's fine. You can do whatever you want with that. Keep them tapped, right? Tapped scroll tokens. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that on our turn. So I'll get back my two creatures. Right? And we can just clear their board here. Yeah, no, GG's, that's it. I I, I mean, look, what are you gonna do? That's that that's exactly what you have to do. Oh wow. All right. Gotta recur your removal. They can't do anything. All right, cool.